Hi to everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Today we will do a little spanking for those little boys who they think they are lions but the fact they are rabbits. Uh, there's a little boy, his name is Ali Dawa. If you remember this guy, he sat next to always to Mimi Hijab because he is his boy. Like he's like a, he repeat what Mimi he say, like he's just a, a female secretary. If you remember, once Mimi Hijab, he said he want to debate me. Actually, he did not say he would debate me. He want to show off. He said to the Muslims, which one of those lists you think I should debate? And he post my name between the list. The Muhammadan, they said to him, oh, oh, debate Christian Prince. He's making a lot of Muslim leave Islam. So Mimi Hijab, now he is in the corner. So he decided to do it. How he do it? Just to show you that those people are fraud, coward, and they have no dignity. We called them in the debate, and then Mimi Hijab and Ali, uh, our sister here, Ali Dawa, was sitting next to him, and they play for me a video, which is a woman, Muslim woman, she called me, and they made videos about it, saying that Christian Prince is a sexual predator. Why? Listen, why? Just to show you how coward they are, how filthy. You know, the, the name of the video of uh, Ali Dawa, that Christians are speechless. I challenge him to make a video and tell us why he chose this video to prove me bad. How he chose a video of a Muslim woman insulting Jesus, saying he have sexual relationship with his mother, defending her and saying I am bad do you see how bad those people are I mean from everything you choose this video and so they cut the little tiny words I said to her suck on me I was quoting her prophet saying that and because you quote Muhammad you are a sexual predator I live in Arabia, I live in Africa. You know, you know where, you know, where, where, you, know you know what, you know what? No. Why you can't, no, why you're... Uh, by the way, they said she is very young, you know, they made her even a child, you know, like she is Aisha. She lived in Arabia, she lived in everywhere. She is an adult woman. Not only she's adult, she's filthy. Listen to what she was saying. But the Muslims, they will play victims. Brother, did you see what he said to our sister? Your sister? This is your sister? What a nice family you have. Listen carefully. Prophet kissed the black stone. He's a pagan. You are a pagan. Did you kiss a stone or not? Did you, do, you, do you kiss a stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Who created the black stone? Jesus. Jesus? No, don't, Jesus don't create stones. He created the whole world. But you Muslims kiss, you Muslims kiss his stones, right? Why, why your prophet kissed the black stone? Did he kiss the black stone? Jesus kissed nothing. Your prophet did. Why your prophet kisses stones? Okay, Jesus, Jesus do more actually. Worse actually. Ah, he play with his so mother boobs. Tell me why he's doing he, that. He play with his mother what? Boobs? You must be okay. You see, you see guys. You see guys. You see guys. You see how you see how selfish they are. Look what she said. Oh no! Look what she said. Look what she not said. Like you. Okay, okay, show me. Show me. Okay, show me a verse. Show me a verse. Really? Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played with his mother. Show me his a verse. Show me a verse saying that Jesus he played. Listen, listen. You are obviously a trashy person. You just insulted Jesus for no reason. You say Jesus he played with his mother boobs, right? Okay, you listen. You are a liar. Number one. Number two. It's your prophet who order women to give their boobs to strangers. Is that true or not? No, it's not. Can I suckle you? you? Okay, let us read the hadith. Can I? Can I suckle you? So from all the conversation, they cut that part and they play it to the Muslims so they can frame me. Says Christian Prince saying to a Muslim woman, "Can you suckle me? Can I suckle you? Do you see how trashy they are?" And can you ask you, you Muslims, can you ask them how in the world you copy this video to prove a Christian prince wrong? Can you ask Mimi Hijab and Ali Dawa, are they speechless? They are cowards, fraud. And now he made a video saying a Christian speechless for rave verses. Look who is talking, the followers, the followers of the rapist. Speaker corner. Let us hear some and lie for some 
and talk for some and practice lies of Allah. This guy, he want to make himself like he, he can refute the Christians. Christians are speechless. Are we? You know, why those cowards don't dare to debate me? They promised to debate me. I call. I am the one who was waiting for them. I am the one who called them. They played this little tiny 15 seconds and they hang up on me. What is the debate? Because they are cowards. They cannot. And not only that, they put the speakers of the, you know, far away from the microphone. So people will not even hear what I'm saying. I mean, do you see how trashy they are? How scared they are? When those potatoes will dare to say, hey, Christian Prince, we are going to do ambushing for you. What about, you know, you do the same as you did to apostate prophet. You tell him you will debate two Muslims and suddenly me, me, hijab, he show up. Surprise me. Oh, don't scare, don't panic. Okay, don't panic. You finished, boy. <laughs> Actually, there's a funny guy in the chat before we start. He said, why you are talking about this? Uh, Mimi Hijab, he finished David, my friend. Go and watch the video. We are dying laughing at Mimi Hijab debate. Did you see uh, Fifi saying that Allah have hands? Fifi, Fifi, the boyfriend of Mimi. Mimi, he says, who said so? Allah don't have parts. Fifi, he said, yes, Allah have hands. Do you see how stupid you are? Who is the one is finished? Now let us hear this and laugh together. And I believe some behavior was childish uh, coming from the Muslims. So I went there to correct the brothers and say, look, guys, let's, let's not behave like this because this is not really that way. Look, 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 look. He went to the park and he found Muslims saying childless comment. He's the adult. Those Muslims in the speaker corners, they are babies. Ali Da'wah, the mature, he is going to make it right. So he went to the speaker corner. He saw those Muslim children's stupid eee, kids, children's man. And I there, I went there. I said, no, 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 don't do that. Let me correct you, little one. I believe some behavior was childish uh, coming from the Muslims. So I went there to correct the brothers and say, look, guys, let's let's not behave like this because this is not really dawah, you know, uh, in that context. And when I went there, I heard these you know, couple of Christians. There. Uh, so it is a dawah to cut a video. Cut the part where your sister insulting Jesus, saying he have sexual relationship with his mother. That is dawa. That is dawa. That is not a childless. That is a behavior of a mature person. Hmm, makes sense. Continue. They're calling the prophet peace be upon him a pedophile. And I oh, they called the prophet pedophile. Oh, okay. I wonder why. Oh, like these, these, these guys have the guts to talk. So when I got there, uh, and all praise belong to Allah, they got a little bit uncomfortable, yeah, because they were speaking to some Muslims that they didn't really know what was happening. So when I, when I came there and tried to discuss with them and put them in their place, and actually one of them actually agreed. And at this very moment of time, you can see he says it with his own mouth. We say, why did the Prophet wait from the age of six to nine uh, to consummate the marriage? Why did he wait? And he, he says it with his own mouth. So listen to this guy. So he says, that because he was waiting for her to become an adult and that's <laughs> you're speechless at the age of nine she became adult at the age of nine she became an adult now let us spank this fraud this little tiny rat was Aisha at the age of nine an adult which source saying that Islamic Soros, Ali Dawa Soros. Oh, I forgot. Ali Dawa was there, and actually he was one of the companions, and he knew exactly the age of Aisha. Let us see what was the age of Aisha. Give me a second. So we can laugh together at this little tiny child who claimed to be adult mature and he is the one is correcting the Muslims. They were childish when they answer. Yeah, you are the adult. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. This is who? Sahih al-Bukhari. Who? Sahih al-Bukhari. Who? Bukhari. 
Bukhari who <laughs> This is a weak hadith. This is a lie. This is not the true. He was waiting until she became adult. Adult? I used to play with the doll in the presence of the prophet. Who is talking? The adult wife. I mean, isn't it obvious? And my girlfriends also used to play with me. I mean, look at the company. When Allah Messenger used to enter my do my place, he used to hide, they used to hide themselves. Yeah, kids, you know, they are shy. But the Prophet would call them to join. He'd say, come on, come on, play with her. Come on, continue. And maybe he is enjoying looking at the children's, seeing their beautiful features. Features is a bit of fire. Because the one who marry a child in their age and he see her sexually, why he will not see them sexually? And the funny he said that the Christian they are calling Muhammad pedophile. Read with me carefully. Kids playing with kids. And play with me. Playing with the dolls and similar images is, is forbidden. But it was allowed for Aisha at that time as she was a little girl and not yet reached the age of a puberty. Coward. He silenced the Christian. She was adult. And do you know what was her age at that time? She was 14 years old. Because if you go actually to the, to the book here, they are adding your reference here so you can see more reference. Fathul Bari, page number 143, value number 13. If you go there, he will tell you even exactly what was her age. What was her age? This is Fathul Bari, value number 13. It says here, لأن عائشة كانت في غزوة خيبر بنت أربعة عشر سنة إما أكملتها أو جاوزتها. So at the age of fourteen, Aisha still she don't have her menstruation. Fourteen. But the guy he said that he got the Christian busted. He said to him, do you know why he waited until she is nine? Well, until nine, at the age of nine, he have intercourse. Before nine, he was molesting her. He used to fondle her. Because she is his wife at the age of six. It was not an engagement. <laughs> Funny to say engagement at the age of six, isn't it? If you go in the Hadith, you will find Aisha saying that the Prophet married me, not engaged to me. He married me. Lawfully, she is his wife. Officially. Do you see it? And he did have sex with her intercourse at the age of nine and she had no menstruation even at the age of four 14 and she was playing with her friends with her dolls and this coward he is saying he refuted us different topic This guy, he is the one who can get everyone busted. I mean, we have, we have to be honest here. I mean, who can do that? No one. Only Ali Dawa and Fifi and Mimi. They can do it. They are so strong. And they have a lot of knowledge. They are scholars, actually. Especially in the holes of the narrative. Uh, by the way, for those who do not know, uh, the name of Yasser Qadi changed. His, his uh, 
Previously, he used to be Yasser Kadi. Right now, his name is Holes in the narrative. Dr. Holes. Okay, Captain, hear me out. Was Jesus the God of the Old Testament who said get babies and crush them in prison? Yes, yes. In context of what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Did Jesus in the Old Testament say go and kill baby and smash their head? The Christian guy, you see, and this is why I ask all those who in the in the speaker corners watch my videos, my friend. So you can spank them. So you know, when you accuse somebody with something, that's mean this is bad, right? I mean, if I say to you, you know, your prophet is a Buddha file, that's mean I am against Buddha file. It's obvious. When I say your prophet is a rapist, that's mean I am against rapist. When I say uh, smashing the head of the babies that's mean I'm against smashing the head of the babies but Muslims they believe in all those things and they practice them and not only not only they practice them you see when the Muslim they come to you with those questions they think they have something if you have knowledge right away you will say hold on so you are saying the one who practice smashing the head of the babies is disgusting but they did not smash the head of the babies. This was a song. Did they say a prayer of a desperate man? Where is the smash of the head of the babies? This is the same place where Muslim they say Muhammad is there. The Babylon people, they came, they killed them, they killed their children, they raped their women, they took them as slaves. Do you remember, do you remember Jews by the river of the Babylon? There we sat down, ye we we wept, and we remembered Zion. A cry, a cry of defeat. They are slaves. They mean humiliated. Where is the smash of the head of the babies? Did they smash the head of the babies? But because this idiot, he is just a Muhammadan. And when you are a Muhammadan, you cannot go more than the level of an idiot. They quote something from the Bible and they make a story of it. Let us make a story then. So if you are against smashing the head of the babies, so why your prophet, he said, kill the babies? Did your prophet Muhammad order to kill the babies this guy is just praying for revenge Muhammad is the one who killed the babies and they might say to you in the other verse it says killed everyone even their children in the Bible we will go to that and we will see here Muhammad they are asking him Actually, we can show you from uh, Sahih Hadith, so they will not say, "Oh, this is uh, this is not Sahih." This is Al Bukhari. This is at Turmudi. All of them. What it says. They asked Muhammad, is it okay to kill the children of the polytheist? And by the way, the only polytheist I know is the Muhammadan, who prays God, whose name is Allah, with a man whose name is Muhammad. You are a mushrikeen. You associate the name of a man with the name of a God. You believe he is a one God, supposedly. But even that is not true. The Muslim, they came to Muhammad, they said to him, when we go attack them, we kill their children. Is that okay? He said, they are from them. Qal, hum minhum. So the coward who go after the Christians say, do you see what the Old Testament says? I mean, how in the world those people, they accuse you of something they believe in and they practice? There is one of two options. Either you are stupid, you do not know what is written in your books, or you are stupid, you do not know 
what logic is about. Because it's not logical to go to someone, he have a pimple in his face, say, hey, you have a pimple. And then he said to me, hey, you have a bigger one. I mean, are you stupid? Don't you have a mirror? And as long you are against the smash the head of the babies, is it true the Quran speak about a man? He is a prophet of Allah. And this prophet of Allah, he smashed the head of a baby. He's a boy, not literally a baby, a boy, according to the Quran, Ghulam. We don't know exactly how old is he. But obviously he can walk. Allah, he sent Musa to do professional training, ethical training, ethical. Remember, the Muslims attacking the books of the Old Testament. So Musa's, if he go to a school to learn how to be a prophet, and in that school they taught him to slew babies or children's, that will make him awful person. This is your Quran. Chapter 18, verse number 74. Then they proceed. Who proceed? Musa's and Al Khadr. And Al Khadr is a story about a guy who drunk from the fountain of youth, and because he did that, he became Mr. Green. That's what Al Khadr means, Mr. Green. He never died. He drunk from the fountain of youth. We can show you even the hadith. Then they proceed until they meet a young man. This is a false translation. Change the translation, you will see the, the translation of the Quran is a new Quran. It's not the Quran. Just to change the translator right away, you will see there's a huge difference in the translation change. You will see that there is no young man. There's a boy. You finish, boy. And to understand exactly what happened, let us go and see the interpretation. How Al Khadr was teaching Musa's how to slaughter babies according to Allah teaching. This is the official government of the kingdom of Jordan. And the king of Jordan, as you know, he claimed that he is from the family of Muhammad. And this is explained why he is very much corrupt. All, not only him, him and his family. They are the men of the CIA. They are the men of the Mossad. They are the hand to hit any Muslim he tried to go against Israel. It's not a secret. Here it says, this is Tafsir al Jalalain. This is not a Christian prince. So they set off because they were taking a ship. After leaving the ship, making their way on foot until they met a boy. Who? A boy. Let me zoom in. Does it say a boy? Oh boy, it does say a boy. Oh boy, you finished boy. Look like this guy, he used to be called boy all the time, so he stuck with it. So he met a boy who did not yet reach puberty, playing with other boys, among whom his face was fearest. And he, Al Khadr, slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down, by tearing his head off with his hands, or smashing his head against the wall. So you are going to the Christians saying to them, Did your Bible say, smash the head of a baby? when this is a prayer of revenge. Nobody approve it. I can make my own prayer. The Bible report what people say as it is. This is a song, this is a poetry made by a person. We write it down as it is. It's not God saying smash the head of the babies. Here we have your God sending a prophet of God. His name is a Moshe or Musa, according to the Muhammad, and this is how they switch the names. 
and he is teaching him how to kill children and this is the right way to do it you put him in the ground you slew him you take his head by your hand and then you start smashing the head against the wall so this guy when he go and he talk about do you approve this i mean have you ever heard of a stupidity like this you see when you question something that's mean you are against it but because he knew that those Christians who they are in front of them, they have no idea what Islam is about. He knew they will not get him busted in the front right away. So please, those who go to the speaker corner, please watch our videos. So when they say to you something stupid like this, get them busted immediately. And you know, if somebody asks me like, okay, what is this is about? Don't you think it's harsh? Let us say a Muslim, he said to me, well, okay, well, what kind of a prayer this prayer is? I can play for you right now a tons of a prayer made by Muslims in the mosque in YouTube. May Allah kill their children. May Allah freeze their blood. May Allah torture them. May Allah destroy them. May Allah destroy them, brother. That's your prayer. So a man who his nation been taken as a slaves, the whole nation taken as a slave. Actually, just to show you that those people are stupid. They do not know what they are talking about. Smash the head of the babies the same as they did to us. They killed our children. Even the stupid Quran mentioned this. Chapter 28, verse number 4. Always the invader who invade the Jews, they kill them and they kill their children and they take the women. In the best scenario, if you are good for work, they will take you as a slave. In the case of Egypt, as an example, the whole nation be taken as slave. In the case of Babylon, all the nation took them as slave. But both of them, they kill their children when they think it is a must to do. This is the stupid Quran, the yellow pages of Muhammad, chapter 28, verse number 4. Truly Pharaoh elated himself if in the land sorry, uh, himself in the land and broke up its people into sections depressing a smaller group among them their sons he slew and he kept only females alive to rape them Do you see it? Now, because this guy is a donkey, he do not know what his book is teaching. Muhammad, he was trying to be a Jew. You see, when the Christian, they got him busted, Muhammad, he lost his hope in the Christian and he started working with the Jews. Says he, let us, let us be, let, let, me, let me be a Jew. So he was trying to copy the Jews. And then he come and he copied the law of Moses. If you kill my children, I kill your children. And at least this is how we understand it, how we can prove it. Chapter 5, verse number 45. And this is about Musa. This is about the Old Testament. We are denied their inf or for them, life for life, eye for an eye, nose for a nose, ear for an ear, tooth for a tooth. And wound wounds equal for equal. Do you see it? Now somebody might say, well here it says to, uh, a nose for a nose, which means you did something to my nose, I would do something to your nose. Muhammad is a fool man. He don't understand the Old Testament, so he come with other verse. And this verse here, chapter 2, verse 178, it says, Oh, who you believe the law of equality is prescribed for you in the case of murder, free for a free, slave for a slave, women for the women, etc. So if you kill my women, I kill your women. Not you. If you kill my women, I kill your women. 
If you kill my slave, I kill your slave. So now we have two victims. Do you see it? And this is not in the case of war, by the way. This is in the case of murder. We're supporting in here justice. In the case of war, we showed you Muhammad saying clearly, kill them. Kill their children too. Wahum minhum. Don't hesitate to kill their babies. So when this guy speak about something, and then he said he asked the Christians in the same uh, part about rape. Look who is talking, a follower of a rapist. First, where it says in the Bible, rape them, you coward, you filthy, you scumbag, you are a liar, and you are a trash. All those names are not names. The verse you quote have nothing to do with rape. You are a coward. Anyone can go right now and he can read the verses and he will see there's no rape there. This is about marrying the women. There's a huge difference between raping the women and marrying the women. Coward liar. Keep the women for yourself. Keep those young ones for yourself, young women. To do what with them? To rape them? Where the verse says rape them? Read any translation you wish. Anything you wish. Even the one which we don't approve. As you know, Muslim, by the way, they say to you, which version of the Bible you believe? He did. This is translation. Which version of the Quran you like? So Yusuf Ali or Biktal or Khan? This is what version mean. Potato. See among the captive a beautiful woman and have desire for her would take her as a wife for yourself. So if you have a desire, you don't rape her, you marry her and she would be free. In the same time, you're a prophet in the Quran. He was ordering Muslims to rape women who they are already married. Those are virgins. They have no husbands in the Bible. While in the Quran, those are married women and he allow his men to rape them. Read with me carefully. And this is Sahih. They cannot say this is not Sahih. They cannot say this is not true. Do you see it? They came to Muhammad and they said to him, will we taking captives of those they know they, even they knew their 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 husbands imagine those men those muslims they knew their husband remember they used to live together even they are maybe relatives so when they attack Altas and encountered the enemy and we fought with them having overcome them and taken them as captive the companions of Allah seem to be to refrain. Look, the Muslims, they have better manner from the faith of Muhammad. Because at that time, Islam is not too much inside them yet. They are not sure this is not right. We will not do that. So they refrain from raping the women. So they refrain from having intercourse with the captives because their husbands being polytheist. Actually, because they knew their husband. So they came to the prophet of rape and they asked him, can we do that? Then Allah Most High sent down regarding that saying, women are already married except those who you are right hand possess, which means rape them. It's forbidden for you to have sex with married women unless you kidnap her from her husband who is a Christian or a Jew or a Hindu. You see it? So when a Muslim he speak about rape, what rape? The verse there in the Bible speak about marrying them. Here you are raping them. You're a prophet, he raped Sophia. You're a prophet, he raped Juria. You're a prophet, he is a rapist.
I mean, can you believe it that those people speak about rape? So this is what the Muslims do. If you say suckle me, they say you are a Christian sexual predator. When the prophet, he said to a Muslim woman, go and give your boobs to strangers. So it is their prophet who is sexual predator because if this is make you sexual predator to ask a woman to practice Islam, that means Muhammad is a sexual predator. And yes, he is. Muhammad having sex with a child, they say she is mature. And we show you the reference from their own book saying, no, Aisha at the age of 14 and even 16, if you go to the same book of al Fathul Bari, she was not mature. She didn't have her menstruation. She didn't have her period. They are cowardly debating us. But they don't dare to debate us. So I advise all the Christians, please, before you speak to those YouTubers, you know, YouTubers, those YouTubers is a business for them. YouTubers, they are doing business. This is not Dawa, this is money. There's a guy, actually I was going to make a video about him, but maybe tomorrow, maybe some other time. He's from Korea. He explained why there's, why there's people converted to Islam. What, what happened exactly? What happened exactly? How people they convert to Islam? What is the reason behind such a thing? He tell you, well, it's about, maybe I should not tell you. Let us hear Rashid saying to you the story. Topic, which, which is, uh, did I leave the Islam? Yeah, I think many people wonder that, that uh, is he went mad? Is he went crazy? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did he leave Islam? He is not a Islam, some kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I'm gonna talk about this today. Mm, yeah. Yeah, actually, these days uh, made me think about my identity and about my religion. Because, yeah, many things happened in the few months. <laughs> I was thinking about, thinking about, thinking about, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I made money by making Islamic contents. So, because of my conscience, I couldn't make Islamic contents because I thought oh, it's not a good idea to make Islamic contents and making money. But everyone doing that, so... <laughs> Everyone is doing that. And now I have enough subscribers, it's time to go. So it's a, it, is, it is a joke. They knew that Muslims, the second you say I'm a Muslim, they swarm your page. Those people, they open a YouTube page, nobody come to them. 1,000 after two months, people watch. But if you are a person who say I am a Muslim, converted to Islam, especially from certain countries. Muslims, they adore those countries. They have an obsession, like Muslims from Asia, like uh, Indonesia, Philippines, blah, 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 blah. They are crazy about Korean people. I don't know why you ask them. Don't, don't, don't ask me why. Just put Korean person, Korean women, that's it. So they knew that by making such a statement, they will make a lot of money. And yet you just heard him saying everybody is doing it. Who is everybody? All those who they say they converted to Islam, they are not convert. Like the guy who, uh, what his name? Kim. <laughs> and the funny, this guy, he, you know, he attempt to rape a Muslim woman. And he go to casinos and he drink and yet he is making videos about the amazing Islam and Allah. And then Ali Dawah, he says, brothers and sisters, give him a chance. Don't do that to him. It's okay to be a rapist. Suddenly it's okay. But if a Christian prince, he called to a woman, your prophet says, suckle me. Suckle me. 
He is a sexual predator. The man who attempt to rape a Muslim woman, brothers and sisters, don't do this. Give him a chance. <laughs> so this guy, he is saying the truth. Well, everybody is making money from this business. This is a business. This is not about God. And now he feel guilty. You know, I'm lying to you myself. I make a lot of money from this, but I have, you know, I mean, that's not right. Yeah. You know, I made money by making Islamic contents. So because of my conscience, I couldn't make Islamic contents because I thought oh, it's not a good idea to make Islamic contents and making money. But everyone doing that. So, yeah. Yes. Everyone doing that. So I'm not going to keep the video longer. So you can guys download it easier and translate and share it with your friends. Remember those videos, we don't keep them for long, so we will take them down very soon. Uh, and I, I want the Christians, uh, when you speak uh, about like, people like, let's say, Dr. Yasser, don't call him Dr. Yasser no more. His name changed. He was previously called Dr. Yasser. His name now is Dr. Holmes in the narratives. If you search for holes in the narratives, you will find it all over YouTube, more than looking for Yasser Qadi. So Yasser Qadi is a history by the help of Mr. Hole on Allah, Mimi Hijab, because he said Allah have no hands, he have no arms. And then we find that all the scholars agree that Allah have hands, have fingers, have foot. So all of them, they are people of holes. But now we have bigger holes. It is the hole of the narrative. From now on, Yasser Qadi, his name is Holes in the Narrative. Please don't call him by his name, original name, because that will offend him. And, you know, I forget about those Ali Dawa and it was their kids. They are making fun of those stupid kids, you know, get their money. But Yasser Qadi, he is their master. And he is the one really giving us a very great help. And now, after they open the hole in the narrative, they do not know how to close it. Look, this is Mimi saying the hole, the holes in Quran preservation narrative exposed. Three months ago, only 70,000. I mean, if I keep my video for five days, I will get more. All the subscribers you have, obviously nobody is convinced by you. They are losing the ground. You are the one who made him say it. You are the one who forced him to say it. You are the one who promoted. You are the one who called him Sheikh. You are a big Sheikh. And suddenly you are exposing the Sheikh who is your teacher. How awkward this religion is. Hmm. So I hope we have a good time together today. Please download the video as soon as it is ready. It takes some time, 20 minutes to 30 minutes to be ready for download. And later I am going to delete many of my videos. So please download them all before we take them down. Thank you very much for being here. And if you have a problem with holes in the narrative, call Dr. Holes. And if you are a Muslim, before you call him, watch your balls. Because he's going to kick you there and you will not like it. Oh, you know, you never know. You might love it. Try it once. You do it always. Thank you very much. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And we get them busted. Muhammad is a rapist. Pedophile. In their books. Muhammad is a criminal. In their books 
Muhammad, he smashed the head of the babies in their books. Their Allah pro approve smashing the head of the babies in their books. Their Allah open a school to teach you how to smash the head of the babies in their books. Their Allah teach you how to rape married women in their books. Their Allah teach you how to kill the man in the same time you rape the women, right there. As Muhammad, he did with Safiya. As Muhammad, he did with Juria and many other women. And yet they threw their guilt on you. But why you are surprised? Isn't it Allah, he said, that in the judgment day, Muslims will come to me and they have sin like mountains. I will take it and I will place it on the Christians and the Jews. The Muslim, they cannot wait for that day. So they practice as throwing their sin on you. So they do it. They accuse you of it. That what fraud is about. Thank you. God bless you and see you soon again. This is your humble brother, a Christian prince, who are with you. See you soon again. And don't forget to subscribe to our Patreon. We appreciate people who subscribe. You don't have to donate. So for sure, we appreciate people who donate. You will see a huge number of people in my Patreon, but most of them, they are not donators. The reason I ask you to subscribe there, so you will be informed when we go live on air and you will know when we are going to be making a new video because YouTube most of the time don't send you the notification. So subscribe our video for free. And even we give many, many books for free. And actually soon I'm going to post the Russian version of my book, the corrected one, because there was some grammar mistake. We have a, we have a, a Christian, uh, a person who corrected the file we you know we thank that person very much and we will post it so you guys can download it and soon we will post again actually this is the for the first time uh quran and science and depth in the russian language but we are just going to correct it first to be sure there's no grammar mistakes before we pause it otherwise the book is ready and we will give it again for free and we encourage people to support us so we can give for free for for free you took, for free you give. God bless you all. Take care.